What's going on everybody, Captain Horn 23 here and today I'm going to show you how to install LSPDFR 0.4.7 in less than 10 minutes. Don't forget to join my LSPDFR and X-Plane 11 community discord. In here I have many channels related to LSPDFR including 4 help channels with helpers standing by to assist you with any issue you may have with LSPDFR. I also have X-Plane related channels where you can come in here and talk with other people that play X-Plane and make new friends and you can also go on group flights and VATSIM with your friends. I will also be going on group flights with people so if you wish to fly with me or even play LSPDFR with me feel free to join the discord. I'm always looking for new members. The link to join the discord will be in the description. Alright guys let's jump right into installing LSPDFR and all the prerequisites that we need in order to make LSPDFR work. So we are going to need all the files here on my desktop. The links will be in the description. You need to download all five of them. First one's going to bring you to LSPDFR. Um, the download, go ahead and hit download this file, agree and download at the very bottom. And you want this manual install here, do not get the setup, get the manual install. And it'll download right to your computer. Next is Rage plugin hook, obviously we want to select Grand Theft Auto 5 and download right here. Next is script hook V, the download is right here, highlighted in the blue, download that. The simple trainer, hit this green download button and hit the second one on the next page. And same way for OpenIV, hit the download button like I just did there and it'll um, download right to your computer. Of course, hit keep. I'm not going to because I already have it. And drag all of them out to your desktop like we have here. Now next what you want to do is navigate to your Grand Theft Auto main directory. And one way you can do this if you have the Steam version is to right click on Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm just going to use CSGO. Right click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 go to properties local files and browse local files and that'll bring up your path um, through Rockstar Launcher it's pretty similar um, but you should know where you installed it for instance mine is in my F drive here I have two already but you are only going to have one now this is a very important step select Grand Theft Auto 5 and right click and hit copy and then just paste it exactly where this one is at and this is very important because if we accidentally mess up or if you mess up later on down the road you can just fall back onto this backup um, another thing to note is I would complete the prologue before doing this I would complete the first two missions and then do this so when this is done we will come right back alright guys so my copy is done copying over so we can proceed now uh, the next thing you want to do is install OpenIV and you just click on it and hit continue. It's pretty straightforward and afterwards you're going to want to select your Grand Theft Auto main directory. It'll ask you. Um, it's pretty easy. Just find the path and click on the folder and start OpenIV. And once you're in OpenIV, what you want to do is go up here to Tools, ASI Manager, and install all of these here. And hit yes on the second one. What that does is it creates a mod folder. And after that, uh, that's all you need to do in OpenIV. You can actually X out OpenIV now. And now we can navigate into our main directory through our folders here. And you notice that we now have this mods folder. Now what you want to do is select the update and time64 and common.rpf. Just like that by pressing the left control and clicking on each of them. And then right clicking, copy, go into the mods folder and paste. Now this is going to take a little bit again, so I will return when this is complete. Alright guys, so the the update in Time64 and coming to RPF is done moving into the mods folder. So we can hop right into the installation with LSPDFR. So first you want to open the LSPDFR 0.4.7. And this is really easy guys, just select everything in here except the licenses folder. And drag it into your Grand Theft Auto main directory. And it might take like 5 seconds. After this, we will be installing the Rage plugin hook. There we go. So once that is complete, we can X out of LSPDFR and open the Rage plugin hook. And this time, you want to select everything except licenses again and SDK. That is very important. Do not select the SDK folder or you may experience crashes. 
So once you have everything selected except licenses and SDK, drag them into your main directory. And if it has to replace, go ahead and do so. After that, we're going to install Scripthook V. This is really easy as well. Just go into the bin folder after you open it and install everything except the native trainer. So you want the dimput 8 and the Scripthook V.dll and drag them into here. And if it has to replace, go ahead and do so. Next and last is the trainer. Open this folder and just select the bottom two, the trainer v.ini and the .asi, and drag them into your main directory. After that, you are good to run this rage plugin hook.exe, but um, you can send it to your desktop by right-clicking it, clicking send to, and send to desktop. And what that does is it creates a shortcut. Now, what you want to do is go into that, and it's going to have this little disclaimer here, wait five seconds, hit accept, and go ahead and hit yes, and what this does is it creates a backup, so if Grand Theft Auto has an update, you can always revert back until LSPDFR gets updated, or Rage gets updated, and Scriptic V gets updated, and after this is complete, it will start up Rage. And what you want to do here is set this plugin timeout threshold to 60,000 from 1. And go into your plugins tab up here. Hit load these plugins on startup, select LSPD first response, and then just hit load all plugins on startup, and that grays out the LSPD first response while it's being checked. And hit save and launch, and you're ready to go. So, guys, that's how you install LSPDFR very quickly and efficiently. And once you get in the game, just you can hit escape and there will be an LSPDFR tab. Hit the go to nearest police station and create your character and you are ready to go. So thanks for watching this video guys. Don't forget to join the Discord. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.